here we have the Xanthosoma lindenii. Now, don't quote me on that name. It is kind of a weird one. I've never actually heard anybody else say it before, so if I'm saying it wrong, you know what it is anyway, and let's get into the care of this one. So, these plants are going to need very bright light to do well. Kind of think of them like philodendron that needs some more water. These can survive a medium light scenario, much like philodendron, most philodendron can. Um, but it's going to do best in a bright light scenario. It's going to grow fastest in a bright light scenario. Make sure it has a nice wide view of the sky, preferably from a south-facing window, a west-facing window, or an east-facing window, of course, if we are in the northern hemisphere. If you're not sure what I mean by bright light, make sure to check out our lighting guide video, and that will explain all the things you need to know and how to differentiate the difference between the different lights. Next up, let's talk about watering. We're going to let a couple inches of the soil dry in between water, right about down to 25%. Once it's 25% dry, give it a thorough, thorough soak, and of course letting it come out of the bottom drainage holes. You'll want to repot this plant about every one to two years, or whenever the roots are coming out of the bottom drainage holes. For soil, I like to use one part houseplant soil mixed with one part cactus soil. They want to retain quite a bit of moisture, and they also want to drain a little bit too. It's important that we get airflow down to those roots, and it's important that these plants have plenty of drainage. When you do go up in pot size, just go up one to two inches larger than the size of the brew ball or the size that it's currently in. So for example, this is in a six inch pot. When I repot it, I would go up to a seven or an eight inch pot at most. For fertilizer, I recommend just a general purpose liquid soluble or granule fertilizer. Either of them works fine. They're not too picky about what type of nutrients they're getting. But of course, only do that during the spring and summer months while the plant is actively growing. That's going to do it for the care instructions for the Xanthosoma lindenii. If you have any questions or if you have any tips of your own, please leave them in the comments below.